I mean, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, just trying to take it one game at a time and, um, you know, play the best I can each and every day and see what happens. So, uh, I mean, pretty, pretty good first half, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> it's not over yet, though. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, just one day at a time. We got a long ways to go, a long season. And, uh, you know, I mean, to, to make that game and or to start that game would be unbelievable, a uh, dream come true. Frase, what's your reaction when Albies finishes like 350,000 votes ahead of phase one and all of a sudden you bought a jump ahead in phase two? What was your reaction to find out you were in the lead? Um, I mean, I hadn't really dove into it or paid that much attention to it. I'm trying to focus on the game. So, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, some guys sent that to me that I'm in the lead. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, hopefully we can keep that, keep it that way to, you know, until, until that voting stuff closes. Adam, it sounds like sounds like you're pretty happy with with Jimmy T as your campaign manager. Um, how has he been conducting things, and what might he have to do here in the next 24 hours or so to make sure that you get it over the top? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I guess he's leading the way, but then you got uh, Terry and uh, Caitlin doing a pretty unbelievable job too. It's every time I open up my Instagram, I see my face about 10, 15 times. So, um, I mean, they're <laughs> they're getting after it. So. Um, you know, I don't really love the spotlight itself. I try to just go about my business and take care of what I need to take care of. So, uh, I mean, I guess it's pretty cool um, to have the support and and uh, happy for that. Hey, Frazier, a uh, couple of weeks after the All-Star game is the trade deadline. What's it been like trying to block any thoughts of that out and having the kind of success that you're having this year? Yeah, I haven't really thought about it much. Uh, I got so much other stuff going on but to worry about. And, uh, you, know, you know, it's been going on for three years now, I guess. So uh, just learn to be where my feet are and have, have a good time playing baseball and try to do everything I can to win a game every day. So, uh, you know, if it's in a pirate uniform or somewhere else, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I take care of what I can. and um, I don't really get caught up in it. Adam, what's it like uh, going the way that you're going from a swing perspective and approach perspective when everything else in the league seems to be geared toward uh, driving the ball and maybe being bereft of a, a two-strike approach? You, you kind of are on an island in some respects there. Yeah, I mean, I don't really get caught up in that either. So um, I try to drive the ball every time I'm up there too. It's just a matter of you know, if you get it down the line or in a gap and uh, for a double or extra base hit kind of deal. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to put the ball in play every time I get up there. So if I get it two strikes and obviously I'm shortening up and trying to put it in play. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about the rest of the league either. I'm worried about myself and uh, you know, putting together tough at bats. Grace, do you get caught up in anything? Yeah, Mississippi State, uh, about it. That's the only thing I've been – our games and their games, that's what I've been worried about the past few days. So. Have you gotten in touch with Bednar's brother, told him to uh, to bear down in game three? Yeah, we sent him a little orange down photo the last night. Um, though we're playing Vandy now, but uh, made some headlines when he did that the other day after, you know, dominating them. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty confident in him tonight. Hopefully he can go out there and do what he's been doing and uh, the dogs can bring home their first national championship. It'd be pretty cool to watch. So, And we're going to be on the flight, so uh, can't have Reynolds and, and Cora wearing me out, so I'm going to need them to win. Ray, uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, Maz. Have you talked to him at all in years past in spring training? And if so, what are some of the things that he was talking to you about? Um, yeah, um, just talked to him about what he used to do around the base at second base, uh, stuff like that. And it's a little different now being that you have to stay on the bag. Uh, so I, mean, I, I kind of took what he said and tried to apply it, but at the same time, it was pretty tough because he, he was all about the feet, throwing the feet, making the hands work and, and stuff like that. And I used to be all about that too, but now I got to, um, stay on the base it kind of takes that rhythm part out of things and you got to figure out something else so you know i mean my first year or two it was a big adjustment trying to do that um 
and I think it showed on paper. But uh, yeah, so it's I mean, uh, but Maz is really smart baseball guy, so enjoy talking to him and uh, picking his brain a little bit. And what do you attribute most of your defensive success to, especially the last handful of years in your career? Um, footwork, I would say. Um, working the hands through the baseball, being in rhythm with the feet, right, left catch. I think Greeny, Gary Green, told me that uh, in spring a couple of years ago and uh, took it to heart and try to try to make sure I'm staying on top of that. Um, it's, it's the feeder and rhythm that's going to give you the good hop and uh, make you a lot more consistent in uh, fielding baseball. Adam, your approach, you talked about the two strike and we talked about the differences where the game's been trending, hitting. Do you do that because you're in the leadoff spot? Does that at all aid your approach or do you think it's more Schulte sees your approach and is a better fit for the leadoff spot? Does that make sense, what I'm asking? Yeah, I don't think it's the – the back half of that, I think it's more of uh, knowing who I am, knowing I am, I guess, the leadoff hitter. I'd say even if I was down in the order, it's, um, it's just the player I am is the contact guy and guy to get on base for the home run hitter. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I guess, I'll, I'll, I mean, just trying to be short to the baseball and have a short, compact swing. And um, when you're able to do that, put the barrel where you want more often than not. And, uh, that, that allows for the, you know, I guess, better chance for success. And one more for you, if I could ask you about the game last night. Uh, in the ninth inning, before you guys go out to bat, what's the conversation, if anything, going on in the dugout? Well, I think you feel some tension start to build. Um, I mean, you're at that point, you're trying to do anything you can not to get no hit. So. Uh, I think it started, <clears throat> I thought I had him in the first inning and Fuentes makes a dive and catch. So it kind of set the tone for the whole game. Um, you know, and then Story makes that play on Stallings and you're like, oh, here we go. Um, but luckily Kai came through and, and bailed us out. <clears throat> Adam, I know you're not really looking at the voting results, but do you look at the league leaders very often? I mean, you know, you're up there in a lot of categories. You have been all season. Is it does that uh, interest you at all? And if it does, how I mean, what's it make you feel when you see you're leading the league in hits? Yeah, was, the hits part is probably the only thing I pay attention to. Um, other than that, I just you know, okay, Castellanos is having an unbelievable season, so um, just pushing, try to keep up with him. Um, but other than that, I don't really get caught up in anything else. I don't, I don't, I try not to look at numbers, try not to look around the league, and then you're comparing yourself, trying to do too much, trying to do this, trying to do that, instead of just going out and playing the game and focusing on each and every at bat. <clears throat> so, yeah, I try to block out all distractions. And uh, I mean, probably be a better player if I just stayed off my phone and didn't even read anything. Great. One of my favorite moments on Zoom has been your answer to the superstition question i think we were in atlanta but like did those superstitions still hold for the all-star game or do you kind of like i don't know clock out for three days and and just i don't know if you know if you would make the all-star game like how would that stuff work for you um i think it's just more like a every, everyday thing i don't think it matters uh what game it is it's um i mean might not pay attention to it as much i don't know i couldn't tell you because i haven't done it so um but no i mean i it's, it's it's literally every part of every day. So, um, yeah, the price to hold. Oh, good for Adam. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, guys.